So welcome back to another Dax Fridays, even though it's not Friday. We're going to talk about today about running SAM, which is one of the new um, functions that are available for visual calculations. I know the visual calculations are being sold as easy, but <laughs> this is going to show you that it's not that easy after all. <laughs> Let's get started. Right, so running SAM. Running SAM returns a running SAM calculated on a given axis. Easy, right? Well, not quite. If you look at the syntax you have, first you, ha you have to put a column, which is going to give you some problems. I'll show you later. So you put a column, then you put the axis. <laughs> I don't know what, what axis. We'll talk about it. Then you specify how you want to manage the blanks, and then you specify if you want to reset and where the uh, running sum. So, the only way to understand this is to, with an example, let's go to Power BI. Okay, <laughs> hold yourselves. Uh, I've done the examples already, so I don't need to type because this, I don't want to make it too long. But I have these definitions so I can see it in front of me and make sense of it. I have, this is the Northwind data set, you will get the download in the download center. So I put the category name here, and then I have the sales. Then I have sales previous year, I've done the variance, which is uh, current year minus previous year, and then I create a running sum. Like, very easy. You can actually go, I figured this while doing this video, you can go here, and then you can do here edit calculation, and you can actually edit calculations, I thought you couldn't, but you can. Or you can just go here to new calculation. The only thing is that it will create a new calculation for you, so you can annul that one. So if you want to take a look at how running sum has been created, so it is running sum of sales. If you don't specify anything, it will do rows by default. Okay, I just wrote rows, but if you remove it, it'll do the exact same calculation. You can see it here. So what is it doing? Is it basic? It is taken, and this is, you have to sort these alphabetically by category name and then is adding the rows. So 286 plus 113 plus 177 plus alphabetically. Now I was thinking, oh, maybe we can feed a table. <laughs> Obviously, this is not tax anymore. These are visual calculations. So there has to be a way to sort the column. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble very easy. How often do you want to do a running sum on a sorted list? Like, Never. So I don't know, you tell me if there is a way to actually sort this and put it in some other order, because definitely doing alphabetically is not it. Anyhow, so you have, you can see what it does. It goes row by row in sums and does a, a normal running sum. Beautiful. Right, so then I thought, okay, so we know what rows does, what, what is these columns and row columns and all that stuff. So I actually went to, I'm going to pick this table, we're going to probably break it. So I'm going to go here, do uh, cancel that, edit calculation. And here I was trying to do columns because we do have columns don't we? So I said columns and nothing shows up. If something doesn't show up in DAX intelligence, it means that you're doing something wrong. And in this case, I was doing something wrong. It looks, so let's go back. You see, if this breaks, you can actually go here and then kill whatever is wrong. So, so here's the thing. This is a column, right? It is a column. So you do have columns, but the next function, let me show you, here is not a column, it's an axis. It's a huge difference between column and axis. So it's a bit unfortunate that they decided to call columns and rows because I was thinking that it was a, a normal column and it's not. It's just, you have to have a matrix and then it's the different axis of the matrix that will do, you will play with. Let me show you. So we're gonna go to columns. <laughs> <laughs> brace yourself because I've tried all the options and I think I got it but I'm not sure so I created a matrix I have true or false here this is the first level and then I have sales I remove everything else just to be able to to make sense of all, all of it and then I have here categories and then I have um, products so if you open this it will open to a product beautiful I just wanted to have access on both sides 
to see everything working. So, first one, this is uh, rolling sum for rows. And then it's doing what you expect it to do. It goes these plus these, plus these, plus these, plus these, right? It's, it's doing the rolling sum. If you then go to the next axis, to the next column, it starts again with the new, it looks like this is a new table and it starts for 4,780 and then it sums the next one, it sums the next one, it sums the next one. Okay, so that is what rows does, beautiful. If instead of putting rows, we put columns, let me show you. So you see here, instead of row, I have a column. Okay, so what is it doing? Let's take a look. So the first bit of the table of the axis where, you know, the, where it's false, the columns doesn't do anything because it's doing it on columns. So one column, rolling sum of one column is just the same value. But when you go to the next column, Look what he's doing. So he's taking these plus these. So he's summing the columns, right? One column plus one column. Okay, so this is what he's doing. It just goes in here. So it's these plus, so the false plus the truth, and then it puts it there. And then it goes to the next one. The false plus the true, we're on the true column there. The false plus the truth, so it's counting columns. Columns, columns, columns. Lovely. Okay, the next one, it shows columns and rows as the axis, okay? So column rows does, it goes these plus these, and then it did 286, and then it goes plus 107, then it's 394, plus 5,800 is 400, plus 177 is 577, plus nothing is nothing, plus 251. You see how it goes? It goes boom, 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 and then row, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so, okay, good. Next one, row columns. So it goes, calculates vertically across rows from top to bottom, and then it goes to the column. So it's the opposite. So what this does is it goes and calculates these plus these plus these plus these plus these plus these, you see, da, 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 incrementally, and then continues incrementing. So boom, 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 boom. So you go plus these, plus these, plus these, plus these, plus these. So it's a continuous boom, boom, boom. Okay, so <laughs> now we have the axis covered. There is another um, parameter that you can put in the function that allows you to reset the calculation. So you say stop here and start over. Let's look at that. Okay, so now we start with the reset. The reset parameter, you will put it, let me show you once. It's like a million clicks to get there. My gosh, they have to do this better. So I have, for example, rows low, and you put the lowest parent in there. So it's the third parameter in the well, depending if you specify how you want to the blanks to be treated, okay? So we have none. If you don't put anything, which I didn't put in here in this running sum, it will run without stopping. It doesn't matter if you have years, month. I have now, by the way, year, quarter, and month, <laughs> okay? So if you don't have anything, it's just going to run up to the without stopping, without recounting. If you put lowest parent, maybe you should start with the highest. So the highest parent in a year, quarter, month is the year. The lowest parent, not the lowest in the hierarchy, the lowest parent in the hierarchy, it will be the quarter in this case. So let's see what it does. If we look here, the running sum that doesn't have anything is just, again, continuous. So 84, 200, 300, you will expect to see increasing all the time. Here, when we have high, it is supposed to stop doing the running sum and reset every year because the highest parent here is the year. So it starts here, boom, 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 and then it starts again with the 100, you see? If it didn't reset, it would be 374, but it is stopping. And then with the lowest, it is stopping at the quarter because it's the lowest parent. 
So you don't see it here, but once you open a quarter, you'll see that it's actually resetting again. You see here that it's resetting, so this is quarter two, and you can see here quarter one if you want to. Let me put this a little bit bigger. So it's starting doing the count, and then here it continues to 200, but here it resets and it does 55,000 instead of 200, and this is continuous all the way, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> we've covered everything now. Um, so this is all for today. I will see you on the next video. Take care.